Hey guys, quick intro. Um, today I'm puppy sitting, but today I'm celebrating my birthday. I'm 25. My actual birthday was a couple days ago, but it's Saturday, so I'm having like a little get together at my apartment with all my friends. <laughs> and I was gonna vlog the party, but then I was like, I kind of don't want to worry about filming, so I'm just going to film a recipe. This is gonna be like the main dish. I don't. I didn't feel like making like a full course meal, so we're just gonna have like snacks, like popcorn, chips, dips. So I'm gonna make a spinach artichoke dip. Vegan, of course. I got this recipe from Chloe. I forgot her last name, but I'll link it. Um, she's really popular in the vegan world. She has a restaurant called By Chloe, and it's really popular like in LA, New York, and places like that. I've never been, obviously. But um, yeah, so. I just thought I'd share this recipe with you guys because it looks really good. I'll let you know if it's good. I'll let you know what my friends think. And yeah, um, that's it. Uh, enjoy the recipe. Oh, God. The ingredients are onion, garlic, lemon, spinach, silken tofu, artichoke hearts, nutritional yeast, parsley, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, pink Himalayan salt, and crushed red pepper. So I start off with just cutting up my onions and my garlic and then I cook the onions for a little bit first and then add the garlic so the garlic doesn't burn. Then I add a whole heap of spinach. Then after that cooks down I add some crushed red peppers and some pink Himalayan salt. Then I start to add everything to the blender, the tofu, the artichokes, the spinach mixture, and then all the seasonings and the nutrition yeast. Now in this video it looks like I didn't use a lot of seasonings and um, uh, nutrition yeast, but I actually did. After I blended it up, I tasted it and it still kind of tasted like tofu. So I ended up adding a lot more nutritional yeast and salt and the uh, garlic powder, onion powder than I actually showed. So just make sure you taste it all. I didn't measure anything. I just kind of went by taste like I do with most of my recipes. Then I blended it up and that's what it looks like. And I added nutrition yeast on top so it get like golden on the top. And that's what it looks like straight out of the oven, nice and brown. And it was really good. The texture, I love the texture because it was creamy, but it wasn't like watery. It was thick and it was so good. All my friends loved it. It fed about eight people and it was a hit. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon.